Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Hey YouTube family, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're gonna do us some chicken tenders with some chili flavored Alfredo sauce. You heard me right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up some chicken tenders and I have about a pound of chicken tenders right here. So I'm taking the ch chicken tenders and I want to remove this here membrane. And I have a tutorial on YouTube on how to remove the membrane from your chicken tenders. Now what I'm gonna do now is just take a fork and I'm gonna slide that membrane in between the fork and give it a nice pull and the membrane will come out. Now, I don't like cooking chicken tenders with this membrane inside of the chicken tenders because it does not look appealing, all right? And I know that some people will still cook their chicken tenders with the membrane in them. Hey, if that's what you like, you go ahead and you do it. With me, I have to take the membrane out of it because it looks so gross. As you can see, it looked like worms that I can go fishing with. But anyway, let's get into the recipe. Now, we're going to season this baby up. I got some salt that I want to go ahead and just sprinkle on these here chicken tenders. And then I'm going to also use some black pepper. And this would definitely give us an added flavor. You, you guys know how this black pepper work on all your recipes. Then I want to go ahead and also toss in some garlic powder. Now with these seasonings, I want you to use your own measurements, okay? I want you to use the measurements that your ancestors give you. When your ancestors say stop, that's when you stop. Now we have some Cajun seasoning. And I just want to sprinkle the Cajun seasoning on these. Trust and believe me, this will not be salty at all, but it will add so much flavor to this here dish. Now I want you to, to toss in some chicken flavoring, and this is Nora's chicken flavoring. I love this stuff, y'all. And what we're going to do now is we just want to go ahead and rub the seasonings in to our chicken tenders and making sure that we can get our chicken tenders coated evenly with the seasonings. Now I want you to take at least around about a half of cup of all-purpose flour and just sprinkle on top. We just want to dredge the flour um, on these here chicken tenders. So we just want to give it a light coat. That's all we want is a light coating on the chicken tenders. Now, once they're coated lightly, this is how it's gonna look. I want you to go ahead and take two tablespoons of butter along with a tablespoon or two of olive oil put into a hot skillet. And I just want you to brown your chicken tenders on both sides. That's all I want you to do is just brown it on both sides. Now, I'm using a splash guard right here just so that the grease don't splash everywhere. Now, once your ten, ten, chicken tenders are brown on both sides, go ahead and remove them out of the skillet. But you do not have to clean your skillet. But immediately, I want you to go ahead and take two tablespoons of minced garlic, and I'm using the jarred minced garlic. Now, this is what's gonna help us flavor up our Alfredo sauce, Rotel Chili Fixing. All right, I love this stuff, y'all. If you can find this at your local store at Walmart or your local grocery store, buy it, make this Alfredo sauce, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So this is Rotel Chili Fixing. If you can see, that it's gonna be mad flavor all up and down this here dish. Now I have um, at least round about a half a cup of chicken broth, and I'm adding that to the um, skillet as well, giving everything a, 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 um, a stir. And I just want to blend these flavors in. And this is the Rotel Chili Fixing right here. It's seasoned with diced tomatoes, got some chilies in there, and it's gonna definitely give you that chili flavor. Now I want you to go ahead and take um, some whipping cream, all right? Take some whipping cream and just add it to it. This is about, I say, a half a cup of whipping cream. All right, and just stir it into your, your mixture. 
And the next thing that we're going to do, baby, we're going to flavor this up as well. This Alfredo sauce is off the chain. And I'm definitely going to try to leave some measurements for you guys below so you can try this here recipe, okay? So all you have to do is just hit the description box. So now I have some more Cajun seasoning that I'm adding to this here um, soon-to-be Alfredo sauce, giving this thing a nice mix. We're going to let it simmer on top of the stove for at least around about a good five to eight minutes. And once it has simmered up, we want to go ahead and take our chicken breasts, our chicken tenders, and add your chicken tenders right to the skillet. We want to go ahead and drown these chicken tenders into this here soon to be butt kicking Alfredo sauce, chili flavored Alfredo sauce. You're going to love this recipe, y'all. Trust and believe me, okay? Now, I want some mashed potatoes to go with this dish, but I'm not boiling any mashed potatoes, so I'm going to keep it easy as possible. I got some instant potatoes, some buttery golden selects, and I'm also using some of this here butter and herb mashed potatoes, all right? And if you can see the brand, this is the brand that I'm using. Make these according to the directions that's on the back of your packet, and I guarantee you, you cannot go wrong. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I want to go ahead and continue to add a little bit more flavor and texture to our Alfredo sauce. I'm tossing in some parsley flakes, okay? Get the parsley flakes tossed in. Now, once I've got the parsley flakes tossed in, I'm going to go ahead and take me some Parmesan cheese, and I just want to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese right on top of this here chicken tenders and mm, butt-kicking chili Alfredo sauce. YouTube family, look at here. All you have to do is let this baby simmer for about three minutes until you get to your um, thickness that you like for your Alfredo sauce. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. That Rotel chili fixing, man, it jazzed up this here Alfredo sauce to the 10th power. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this here recipe. I want you guys to give this baby a try. Whoever put their mouth on this here recipe they will definitely thank you for it now if you want to fix some mashed potatoes you know what i'm saying be my guest get in there and fix you some homemade mashed potatoes but i have no problem taking some some instant mashed potatoes and making my dinner quick you understand what i'm saying a quick meal i love a quick meal this is definitely a quick meal and the taste is unbelievable so if you can, please give this recipe a try. This is definitely a must try recipe. Now do me a favor if you don't mind. Give this video a thumbs up, all right? Comment below and tell me what other recipes would you like to see in the future. Now I also want you to do me another flavor. Favor if you can, all right? Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. If nobody told you today that they love you, let me be the first one to tell it to you. I love you, and there is nothing in this whole wide world that you can do about it. Now, for those of you who are watching this video, let me just say these words also. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on my photo, or you can click on that subscribe button that you see in the corner of the video. Just click on it, and it'll take you directly to my subscription all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button love and not hate love somebody and hate nobody peace